Good morning Radio Oddities community, my name is Ben, call sign Mike 7 X-Ray India India and today we're going to be doing a little bit of an experiment on the radio. I've been seeing lately a lot of people putting on ham radio forums that the bands are dead, there's nobody there um, and then to counteract the argument I've seen other hams saying well if you don't call CQ nobody will get back to you and then everybody assumes that the bands are dead. So <coughs> today's experiment is going to be uh, we're going to go on, we're going to go on to the 20 meter band. Uh, I'm going to start at the very top of the band, work his way down. We're going to find a, a frequency that's free and available, and we're going to do what people say. We're going to call CQ. We're going to see if anybody comes back to us. So it uh, is perfect conditions for the 20 meter band today. Uh, it's quite cold. Um, uh, it's 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 on a morning. It's through the day, so so 20 meters by all accounts should be open. It should be workable. People should be there listening, and uh, we'll put the theory to the test. Is the band dead? Is it as dead as what people say? Is ham radio dying out? Is there nobody listening, or is it just that we all sit there listening for other people and don't call CQ and assume that there is nobody there? So we are going to find out. So, the receiver that we are using today for 20 meters is the Yesu FT450D. Uh, what I'm going to do is, we are using a Fred Western horizontal uh, that's running right above us. Um, it's roughly about 20 foot in the air, running across the length of my garden. Picks up very well on 20 meters. I have worked the world on it, so there's no issues. Uh, equipment wise as to why nobody would get back to us everything's tried and tested we're all ready to go so like I say we're going to start from the top of the band we're going to work his way down to the bottom and then go back up somewhere in between find a free frequency and then we're going to get calling CQ see who comes back to us so I will turn the volume up and we'll give the antenna a tune and let's move things a little bit closer in so we can see what's happening and it's just going to be a matter of uh, sitting here and watching me hopefully do my thing so let's see so we are on 14 350 MHz at the minute we're going to work our way down see what's out there see if there is anybody out there Doesn't sound over good today, but uh, let's see what's out there. So yeah, as I say, mainly on Facebook forums, we've got ham radio operators saying that the bands are dead, and there we go straight away. Look, can we bring him in? Okay, so we'll already have somebody calling CQ then. It's very thin. Uh, it might be a QRP station, um, but we'll see if we can bring him in. Mike 7 X Ray India India returning. Mike 7 X Ray India India returning returning. Charlie Tango 2, uh, portable, I didn't quite get the rest of your call sign, this is Mike 7, X-Ray India, India, returning. Thank you very much my friend, uh, you're 5, I'd say 5 and 3 on me, um, audio is not very very good, I don't know if you're running a QRP station there, I think you said that you were portable, um, just to confirm your call sign, it's Charlie Tango 2, uh, I didn't quite catch the rest, the rest of your call sign over.
Charlie Tango 2, India Quebec Kilo, thank you very much my friend and uh, 73, stay safe buddy, thanks for the uh, thanks for the return, over. Okay, so straight off there, um, we've got a portable station, I believe his call sign was Charlie Tango 2. Italy Quebec Kilo, so I'm gonna do a quick. I'm gonna run a quick um, QRZ QRZ um, check of his call sign, and we'll see just whereabouts he is. Charlie Tango to India Quebec Kilo. Okay, so that's Jorge Fernandez de Visa. And he is in Portugal. So we know now that our equipment is working. We know that our antenna is working. We know that we're at least getting to Portugal. So there's there's no issues there. And literally within, what, 30 seconds of me coming on the band, there's somebody already there calling CQ. So, you know, that might just be a coincidence. We will... Um, we will investigate further. Like I said, it could just be a coincidence. It might just be that there's that one operator and we were just lucky to find him. So we found him, he didn't find us. Again, he's out there calling CQ, portable station. Not not very good, not the clearest of uh, QSOs, but you know, we, we got there, we got there in the end. So I'll just jack it up a little bit more and see what else is out there. Okay, so sounds like another foreign station coming in here on 14295. Not quite sure what language you were speaking. I will try and attempt to work him, give him a... See if we can QSO with him. Mike 7, X-Ray India, India returning, returning. Mike 7, X-Ray India, India standing by. Mike 7, X-Ray, India, India. Returning, returning. Mike 7, X-Ray, India, India. Yeah, so looks like we didn't quite catch him. But it were a foreign station anyway. I, I, I don't really know what language you were speaking. Uh. Okay, so without without knowing what language he's speaking, obviously I don't understand him. Um, it could be QSM with another operator, so I'm not going to interrupt anymore. Yeah, we'll move on. So yeah, I mean, I can understand why some people do say that the bands are dead. There is a big sort of chunk of inactivity um, today on 20 metres. But you know, today could just be a poor day. It's not like this every single day to suggest that everybody thinks, oh, you know, continually, the bands are dead, the bands are dead, there's nobody there. You do hear people on there. Okay, so I think that's a Spanish. I think that's a Spanish version.
So again, yeah, we've, we've, we've hit quite a big chunk of inactivity on the band here. Some musical tones there. Okay, so it's it's not. Like... So for people that don't know, that's that's obviously FTA. Yeah, so that's FT8, which is always jumping. It seems to be the in mode at the minute. If you don't know what FT8 is, um, it's a low power method of communicating. It's not for me. Um, you know, I'm not knocking anybody that does FT8, but to me, it's like watching paint dry. Um, I prefer, I much prefer phone phone modes. You know, I prefer talking. I'm not really bothered about doing what these guys are doing, sat behind a computer. You know, so anyway, but that's their, you know, that's their thing, if that's what they want to do, great. But again, this is another instance of the band being open, the band being workable, people are there. It's just a different way of communicating, like Morse code, um, you know, data, stuff like that. So I'm not going to go any lower because there's, there's not really much point, because we're not going to be able to work out what people are doing, um, as I don't have FT8 and I don't have a uh, Morse key at the minute to... Uh, to respond back to anybody in Morse code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a frequency. We're going to go above 100 and pick a frequency. We're going to call CQ and we're going to see if anybody comes back to us. Are the bands really dead? Are we just have we just dropped on a quiet day? But we got a QSO. Let's see what's going off. Let's take it. Let's take it to somewhere where we know that's quiet. So 134 meg. Let's um, let's see what's going off. Let's put a call out. CQ, CQ, this is Mike 7, X-Ray India, India, calling CQ 20. Mike 7, X-Ray India, India, CQ, CQ 20, standing by. CQ, CQ 20, Mike 7, X-Ray India, India, calling CQ 20. CQ, any call, CQ, any call, this is Mike 7, X-Ray India, India, calling CQ 20. Um, I believe there is uh, another operator coming back to me. This is Mike 7 X Ray India India. Um, couldn't quite catch your call sign there, my friend. Um, I don't know if you're running low power. Um, if you could just uh, maybe put some more put some more power on or, or say your call sign again for me, please. Alpha Lima X Ray, yep, yeah, got you there, my friend. Um, this is Mike Seven X Ray India India. Uh, QTH is Castleford in West Yorkshire, England. Castleford, West Yorkshire, England, and the um, transceiver I'm using is a Yesu 450D with a horizontal Fred Western um, all band antenna. Back to you, my friend. Yankee Uniform for Alpha Lima x -ray. Okay, um, I've just looked you up on QRZ, my friend. Looks like your name is Alexander. Um, good to hear you on the airwaves, Alexander. My name's Ben. I'm currently running a video um, on YouTube. That's uh, Radio Oddities in the search bar if you would like to listen to uh, our QSO. Good to hear from you, my friend, over in Serbia. Um, you take it easy and stay safe in these strange times. 7-3, my friend. Take care. Yeah. 
53. Okay, so the apparently the bands are dead. I've put a CQ out, I'll call in CQ for probably less than a minute. And Alexander over in Serbia has got back to me straight away. So let's put another call out, see if anybody comes back to us. CQ, CQ, Mike 7, X-Ray India, India. Mike 7, X-Ray India, India calling CQ 20. Mike 7, X-Ray India, India calling CQ, CQ 20. Mike 7, X-Ray India, India, CQ any call. Mike 7, X-Ray India, India, CQ 20, CQ any call. Mike 7, X-Ray India, India, Mike 7, X-Ray India, India, CQ any call, CQ 20, CQ any call. Mike 7, X-Ray India, India, CQ, CQ. Mike 7, X-Ray India, India. Mike 7, X-Ray India, India, calling CQ 20. Mike 7, X-Ray India, India, calling CQ, any call. Okay, so I think that pretty much, you know, we didn't get anybody come back to us after uh, Alexander over in Serbia there, but um, I, I think I think a big part of the reason why people are saying the bands are dead is actually because there's so many people that are sat listening and expecting to hear QSOs as opposed to putting CQ out there. Um, as you can as you as you can hear on this video, you know there were a couple of operators calling CQ. Uh, which I went back to and then I, I found a frequency myself called CQ and within less than a minute another operator got back to me. Um, just a couple of tips on etiquette when calling CQ. I always find it's better to speak slowly and repeat your call sign. Um, you know, like I said, when I'm when I'm calling CQ, I'm Mike Seven X-Ray India India. You know, speak slowly. It's um, if conditions are poor, people are always going to get your call sign and it does put people off um, coming back to you if you're speaking too fast or the, or the can't quite make you out, particularly if English isn't your mother tongue. Um, and make your CQ, make your call maybe 10, 10 seconds long, 10, 15 seconds long. Um, if it's a quick CQ call where you're saying, you know, CQ, CQ, Mike 7 X-Ray India, India calling CQ, you know, it's easy for people to miss that. Uh, make your CQ call um, about 10-15 seconds long, very clear, speak very clearly, speak slower than what you normally would and uh, again find a frequency that you know there's nobody else around you. I'm quite lucky today that there's, there's not a contest going off and there's you know not very many people on the bands. That's not to say the bands are dead, I'm, I'm not buying into that. Um, Find somewhere where there's not many operators around you, get a nice clear frequency and get calling CQ because this, this notion that oh, the bands are dead, you know, the hobby's dying, there's nobody there, I'm not buying into it. More and more people need to start calling CQ, more and more people need to get on the airwaves and, and make QSOs because we've, we've all got this impression now, or certainly some of us, that the, the hobby is dying off, you know, there's, there's nobody listening, there's plenty of people listening and not enough talking. So my advice is get out onto the bands, get calling CQ properly, uh, talk slowly, talk clearly, and 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 have fun with it. You know, as you can see on this video, it's it's a testament to to the band really. It's not very busy, but still you can call CQ, and within less than a minute, somebody's getting back to you and uh, and and your QSO in. So you know, it kind of blows that theory out of the water that the bands are dead. So. You know, let me know what you think. Are you still of the opinion that, you know, it is dead? I don't get how you, how you could come up with that now. I've, I've just shown you. Um, get commenting below. And again, like and subscribe. I can't emphasize enough the whole point of subscribing and liking the videos. I'm putting your thoughts in the comment section. You know, this is a platform for people of the hobby to express themselves. You know, you may agree with me. You may disagree with me. That's fine. 
Um, just just let me know what uh, what you think to the video and uh, what you think to, to, to my opinions. So thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you took something out of the experiment. Um, I certainly had fun with it. So take care of yourselves in 7.3. Thank you.